Hello guys. I know you probably miss me. Also, just sorry about the turtleneck. I don't really have an explanation. It's slightly choking me, but that's okay. And my hair is also still wet because I just came out of the shower. But it's fine. We're gonna deal with it. We're gonna roll with it because I have a review for you. So I recently bought a FabFitFun box. Most of you have probably seen ads about it on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, everywhere. And I was so curious about them for so long, so I finally decided to buy one. I was like, hey, I'm getting my FabFitFun box. It's gonna be so fun. And I was super excited, and then I realized when I was reading the shipping information that they wouldn't be sending it for about a month. Um, and that was kind of ridiculous for me. Like, one month is a long time. But I waited, and eventually in about three weeks, I think, no, maybe a little less than three weeks, it finally shipped. And then when it shipped, it took about two weeks to get here. So... Overall, it was about like a month and a half to finally get this freaking box. <laughs> and I have it here, and I've been using it for about a couple weeks, and I wanted to do an honest product review to tell you if it is worth it or not, because it's hard to know when you're getting a subscription box if it's gonna be worth the money, especially for Canadians, because the exchange is like 30%, and that is ridiculous. You think it's gonna be cheap, it's like, what 30 40 bucks or something but in Canadian it's like 70 so this is the box that you get in the mail this is the fall 2018 box it is really big like you can see compared to my head it is ginormous but I mean that's a good sign I guess right there's not really any of the actual products in it but when you open the box you get this magazine here and it shows you all the products and what they're worth, all that fun stuff there. This is kind of cool. I got like a $50 gift card for cook-up or whatever that is. And um, you get $25 off your first two boxes and that's pretty legit to me. Oh, the one thing that I already ate. <clears throat> I got this Luna bar. <clears throat> To be honest, it was kind of weird tasting, but it was good. I mean, I don't know, it's a granola bar. So anyway, this is the inside of the box and it's a mess, so I'm not gonna show you that. So online, before you order the box, you do this like survey thing and they ask you a bunch of questions about yourself so then they can know like what to send you and stuff like that. So I got to choose between a French press and a tea pot. <laughs> and I chose the teapot because I already have a coffee maker and I'm like, I don't know. So this is the teapot. It's super cute. Pop it open and it has one of those like loose leaf things. To be honest, I've only used it twice because I realized when I got it that I could just heat up the water and then stick it in a cup right away. Like why do I even need a teapot? Because it's it's literally the size for like one serving maybe one and a half cups. The only function is looking nice. So I whip it out every once in a while when I just feel like wasting my time. But this is my teapot. That's honestly all it is. And the second thing I got was two packs of the Glam Glow bubble sheets and I already used one of them already, and it is so creepy looking. So I wouldn't recommend doing it near like anybody that you want to impress, but it feels really nice actually and I would say it's worth it. Makes your skin feel great, makes your skin feel nice and fresh and it's something nice to use before you go to bed so I'm not complaining about this one. The next product that I got is this Grown Alchemist Botanical Beauty Hydro Restore Cream Cleanser with Olive Leaf Plantago Extract and 
something. So anyway, this is what it looks like. It's kind of weird looking. It kind of looks like Too Faced. And I was kind of skeptical about this, but it looks really expensive. So I was kind of excited to use it. And once I used it, I was honestly blown away. Like, this stuff is so good. I have dry and oily skin, and I haven't really been able to find something that is good for both. It takes off your makeup, and it cleans your face, and it feels super good. You put on moisturizer after, and then you're good to go. <laughs> in the magazine what it's really worth and it's worth $49 like that's pretty good and the next thing I got um, I'm actually really excited about I got a makeup brush set and it's something that I really needed to be honest I only had like five brushes and they're pretty ratchet so these are the brushes and you get to choose between rose gold and silver or something I chose the rose gold but the thing is they're actually just black like with rose gold letters which is stupid but anyway these are the brushes they're synthetic and they are actually really nice they're really soft um, I haven't used all of them I've only used this one for bronzer and blush and the three eyeshadow brushes here and these two here I haven't used that much um, but this one I assume is for powder and this one's for like lining your eyes and it also comes with a makeup brush case and I just don't use it because who uses makeup brush cases anymore? I just stick it in a cup. Anyway, these are really good brushes. <laughs> I don't know what number I'm on now. Five. I don't know. The next product. This is a metallic liquid foil lipstick duo. I was pretty excited about this when I saw it, but here, here it is. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, I'd never heard of this um, brand before, so I was kind of skeptical, but kind of excited. And I put it on and I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's intense. I'm actually wearing it right now. It looks a little more subtle on camera, but here, you can see me put it on. It's like really in your face, shiny. I don't know if a lot of people would actually wear this though, so I don't know if this is really a good choice to put in the box just because it's not super versatile, but I mean, I mean, I like it. It's kind of nice. And so this is the other Thing that I got and it is just a shower gel I mean it's supposed to make bubbles in the bath but I mean it does but it's not like a bubble bath thing it smells kind of like tea tree oil very clean and like I don't know it smells fresh and nice but I mean it's just your average shower gel it smells fresh but I mean it's nothing special and the next thing that I was really excited about I got a beauty blender I was so excited about this. This is like the main reason I got the box. I got the Black Beauty Blender. I know, I think you get different ones in every box. It really depends. It's not like you always get the black one. But I got the black one and I was pretty excited about that. I only bought a Beauty Blender once in my life and I really loved it, but I used it till it was pretty moldy and nasty. And I haven't bought one since. So I was like, hey, I'll just get it in my FabFitFun box. So yeah, I've been using it like every day. It makes your face look so much smoother. <laughs> Especially in the winter when your skin gets dry, it is really nice. And so the last product that I got is these headphones here. They're wireless Bluetooth headphones and they look like this. I think you can get them in different colors, but I don't remember. To be honest, these aren't that great. I think Apple headphones are better, the ones that come with your phone. So I mean if you really are in a situation where you need 
Bluetooth headphones or you were going for a run or something, I guess they're I guess they're good. <laughs> Anyway, um, these headphones are just like, they're fine. I could have gone without them. You could choose between headphones and an umbrella. So I was like, maybe I should have chose the umbrella. So that is everything that I got in the box. And overall, it was fun to get it in the mail and like get the magazine and like have it finally arrive in the mail after like a month and a half. And I got some nice products, but I did cancel my subscription. After I got it, I don't regret ordering it, but I personally don't think it is worth like $70 Canadian to get products that you may or may not use. And plus, it does take a long time to get it in the mail. And there's also extra $5 shipping or something around that. So I'm not mad about it. FabFitFun is a good brand but I don't know if I necessarily recommend it to everybody, especially if you live outside of the States. Thank you for watching this video. If you got to the end of it, congratulations. And um, just let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Um, I will have my social media links below so you can follow me, so you can... Never really know what to say next in these videos. Like, the end of these videos are so, like... I mean, bye.